Hi friends this is new video tutorial on Ajax live data search and here we will learn how can we search MYSQL table data by using multi select drop down in PHP. We have already published Ajax live data search by enter query in text box and display filter data on web page. But here we have discussed something different. Filter of MYSQL table data by using single select box using Ajax with PHP but here we have discussed how can we filter data based on particular column by selecting multiple select option. For make stylish multi select drop down box here we have used jQuery bootstrap select picker plugin. By using this plugin we can convert simple select box to style multiple select drop down box. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database and in this we have one customer table we have already inserted some data into this table. So we will first fetch data from this table and display on web page in table format. After this we will filter this data based on country column with multiple selection of country. So suppose we want to select two or more particular country data then at that time this tutorial will helpful. This is our index page and here we have already include jQuery JavaScript library link and bootstrap library link. For multi select drop down box here we have include this two additional link of bootstrap select style sheet library and JavaScript library link. First we want to display all data on web page in table format. So here we have make HTML table with five table column like customer name, address, city, postal code and country. Under this table we have write open and close table body tag. We will display customer data under this tag by using Ajax function. Now we have moved to write jQuery code. So here we have make load data function with query argument is equal to blank. This function will fetch data from customer table and display on web page. Under this function we have start write Ajax request. Under this we have write URL option set to fetch.php. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and here we have use post method. In third option which data we want send to server which we can define under this data argument and here we have write query variable. Now we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with table body tag with HTML method and under this we have write data. This code will display customer data under this table body tag. Here we have called this load data function without argument. So if we have called this function without query argument then it will fetch all customer data from MYSQL table and display on web page. Now we have go to fetch.php page and on this page first we have make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class object. Under this we have write MYSQL host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank.
After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from customer table order by customer ID in descending order. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Now we want to execute query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query. After this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result which we have store under dollar result variable. Same way we want to get total number of rows in query result, so we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count function. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable value is equal to zero, if this condition true then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose above condition true then it will execute if block and under this we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and under this we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag and under this we have write first table column and under this we have write dollar row customer name variable. In second table column we want to print address column data. So here we have write dollar row address variable. In third table column we want to display city table column data. So here we have write dollar row city variable. In fourth table column we want to print postal code table column data. So here we have write dollar row postal code variable. And in last row we want to display country table column data, so here we have write dollar row country variable. This way we have store customer data in table format in dollar output variable, now we want to send this data to Ajax request so here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see customer data in table format on web page, now we want to filter this data based on single country or multiple country selection from drop down box. For this we have go to index page and here we have write select tag with name and ID is equal to multi search filter. For multiple option selection here we have add multiple attribute. In class we have write select picker, here this select picker class is a selector of bootstrap select plugin, so after write this class into this tag, it will make style select box with multi select option. Now we want to fill this select box with country name. So on header PHP code first we have make database connection. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select distinct country table column from customer table order by country in ascending order. This select query will return unique country name from customer table. Below we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute query, 
so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute select query now we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method this method will fetch query execution result after this here we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable by using this loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable under this loop we have write echo statement with option tag with value is equal to dollar row country variable and in option text we have write dollar row country variable Below this we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name and is equal to hidden country. Under this variable we will store multiple country name which we have select from drop down box. Friend first we have refresh page and after this above table we can see select box. When we have click on this select box then we can see country list. Here we can select multiple country, now we want to filter this customer data according to which countries we have select from this multiple select box. For this we have go to index page jQuery code and here we have write dollar with select box ID multi search filter with change event. So when we have select country from this select box then this block of code will execute. Under this block we have write dollar with hidden tag id hidden country with value method and under this method we have write dollar with select box id multi search filter with value method. This code will assign country name to hidden country tag which we have select from select box. So when we have select multiple country from drop down then all will be the value of hidden field. Below this we have write query variable is equal to dollar with hidden tag id hidden country value. So here we have store value of hidden field under this query variable. Now we have called load data function with query variable as argument. So here we have called load data function with argument. So now this function will fetch data which will be filter according to country which has been stored under query variable. Now we have go to fetch.php page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post variable is not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar search array variable is equal to explode function with string delimiter argument set to comma and in string we have write dollar post query variable. This code will convert string to array. After this we have write dollar search text variable is equal to implode function with string delimiter argument we have write comma. And array argument we have write dollar search array variable. This code will convert array to string. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from customer table where country in dollar search text variable order by customer ID in descending order. This query will select that data from country table whose country name has in dollar search text country list. And in else block we have write put this query. 
So friends first we have refresh page and after this here we have seen country list in select box and here we can select multiple country. So first we have select United States country from list, after select United State below in table we can see customer data whose country is United States. This way we can filter MYSQL table data by using this select box selection, but now we want to see two country data on web page, so now we want see United States and United Kingdom country data. For this here we have select second country United States from list, after selecting United Kingdom also below in customer table data we can see United Kingdom and United States data on web page without refresh of web page. So this way we can make live search functionality by selecting multiple option from drop down box using PHP MYSQL bootstrap select plugin and Ajax. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.